Hey everybody, uh, today's coding challenge is one that I found on Code Wars and I had to read through these instructions two or three times before I understood what it was trying to get me to do but essentially, um, the, well the, this is the Fibonacci sequence okay so if you don't know what that is <clears throat> basically each number is the previous two numbers added together so 1 plus 2 equals 3 13 plus 21 equals 34 and that just goes on forever and ever <clears throat> So basically what it's saying is it's going to pass us in a number. We want to write a function that takes in a number like this. And essentially, if we can find two consecutive numbers in the Fibonacci sequence that will multiply together to equal that number, then we return those two numbers and then we return true. We found something. If not, then we return false along with the two numbers that when multiplied together are greater than the number that was passed in. So this is the example. If we go back up here, we have 21, 34, 55, and then down here it's, it shows us what's going on here. So 21 times 34 are less than 800, and 34 times 55 are greater than 800. So that's how we know we're never going to find that number is because they just keep getting bigger and bigger after that. So in this instance, we would return false, not possible, and then we would also return the two numbers that the first two numbers that when multiplied together are greater than the number that was passed in. So that's all it wants us to do. Um, so when I looked at this, my first thought was, okay, I need, my function needs to create the Fibonacci sequence from scratch, okay? And then as it goes, we also need to check, as, as we're adding numbers in, we want to multiply those last two numbers together. If it's equal to prod, which is the variable name of the number that's getting passed in, if the last two numbers in our array multiply together to equal that, we're going to return those two numbers and then the Boolean true. If they are greater than prod when multiplied together, we're going to return those two numbers and return the Boolean false. Otherwise, we'll add a new number into our array by adding those last two numbers together. So let me show you what I mean. So this is, this is how it starts out. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> so we're just going to start it off with, we know it starts with 0, 1, 1, and we could add a few more of these in if we wanted, but I'm just going to start with that. And this is probably dangerous. You probably don't actually want to do this because it's an infinite loop. <laughs> um, so if, instead of doing it this way, if you want to do a for loop and limit it to 100 iterations or 1,000 iterations, you could do that. But since it's on Code Wars and I know that we're going to find the answer eventually. I'm just going to do it this way. So this loop will keep going until it finds either two numbers that multiply together to equal prod or two numbers that multiply together to equal greater than prod. So that's what we're going to check each time. So let's see. Uh, let the last number equal array array.length minus one. Let second to last equal array at array.length minus two. So this will be the last number in the array, and this will be the second to last number in the array. And if last times second to last is equal to the number that is passed in as a parameter, then we want to return the second to last number, then the last number, and then true, because we found two numbers that multiply together to equal the prod. Otherwise, if last times second to last is greater than prod, then we're still going to return those same numbers, but we'll return false, meaning we've passed the prod and we're not going to find any numbers that multiply to equal that. Otherwise, we will push a new number to the array that is the sum of those two numbers combined. So looking at this, what would happen is this first iteration through, it's going to take the last and the second to last number, so 1 and 1, and it's going to multiply them together. And it's going to say, does 1 equal 714? No. Is 1 greater than 714? No. So it's going to push a new number to the array. It's going to continue the Fibonacci sequence, and it's going to add in a 2 right here. And it's going to keep doing that until it finds one of these two conditions to be true, and then it will return our answer. So if we pass in 714, we will get 21, 34, and true, which if this, let's see, 
And here we go. So for 714, we should get 21, 34, and true. And if we pass in 800, which is the other example it gives us, we get 34, 55, and false. And here's 34, 55, and false for 800. So I think this is a complete solution. Let's plug it in right here. And we will let, uh, we'll let Code Wars run the tests on it. And there we go. That's the solution. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like or subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video. Thanks, guys.